Hi, this is Christina Hills from the Website Creation Workshop, and in this video I want to show you how you get a Gravatar. A Gravatar is a avatar. It's your globally recognized avatar, and what an avatar is is your little picture. And so when you get a Gravatar account, anytime you post a comment to any WordPress website, whether it's your own or someone else, your little picture will show up. All right, so we're going to get started. So to get your Gravatar, you enter your email address. And I'll click on Get Your Gravatar. All right, so now it has sent an email, a confirmation email to that, and I need to go check that and click the link in order to be able to access my account. So then you need to go to your email and open up the Welcome to Gravatar email and click on the activation link in order to activate your account. So now I'm going to select a username and a password. So this is going to be the Gravatar for my team and I will pick a password. And you can go ahead and read the Terms of Service, and once you've done that, you can click on the I Agree, and then click the button to sign up. All right, so once I've done that, I think the first thing I want to do is get an image in there, and then I can add other email addresses. So I'm going to click and add an image. And where do I want to get my image from? My hard drive, an image on the internet, or an image I previously uploaded? I'm going to get it from my hard drive. And now I'm going to go ahead and browse and find the image. So I found an image on my hard drive. I'm going to select it and then click on Open. And then I'll click on Next. All right, so it's asking me if I want to crop it, but it's already square, so this looks fine. I'll click Crop and Finish. All right, so now this is important. Choosing your rating. You want to choose the G rating because then your image will show up on any website. So websites rate themselves, and G will apply to G-rated avatars suitable for display on all websites with any audience. If you select one of these others, then if you visit a website that's rated G, it won't display your image. So all of my websites are G-rated, and that's the rating you want to select. All right, so now I can add other email addresses to associate with this image. So what I'm going to do now is add the other email addresses for my team to associate with that image. And I'll click on Add. All right, so it sent a confirmation email, and I need to just go in there and verify that. Okay, so it sent a confirmation email here, and so now I need to go read my email, open up, and click to verify it. And I've come over to my email, and it needs to verify email addition, and all I have to do is click to verify this additional email address. All right, so now you see I have my original one email address, and I have this new one, and I need to click to associate an image with it. So I've selected it, it doesn't have an image, and now I need to click the image below to confirm, and now both of these have the same image. So anytime I want to manage my Gravatars, 
I'm already here. Okay, so anytime I want to manage my grand avatars, edit my profile, add an email address, or add an image, you see with this one account, I can have various email addresses. So I'll add one more. And I would go through that same process of confirming the email and then once it's confirmed it will show up in here I can add additional images so in one account you can have multiple images and multiple email addresses but I would just keep it simple to make it easier for you to work with and that's it that is how you add a Gravatar and once you do that then anytime you post or comment on any WordPress website, your image will show up instead of the mystery man blank image, and then people will get a sense of who you are and you look more like a real person. And if you don't want to use a photo, using some kind of cartoony avatar is just fine. This is Christina Hills with the Website Creation Workshop.